What's up guys, it's your boy ABC Delicious. I'm back yet again with another video. First and foremost, like I always say, I hope everyone out there is staying safe, strong, and doing your best. So, for today's video, I've been meaning to kind of do a unboxing slash user experience review. This is not the most up-to-date, but I was able to get a pair of the Galaxy Buds 2 from a friend, and it's a funny story, but I'll basically say I was betted that I couldn't do something, and if I if I successfully did the bet, he would give these to me, which he did. So kudos to him. He knows who he is. And overall, I have to say it's been a very good experience. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Truth be told, I've already unboxed this. I've used it for a couple of weeks, so obviously I'm not gonna use a knife or scissors, but here we go. Okay, so it comes with a nice, very simple, classy looking white box. So here we go. Okay, hope I can get these off without too much of a struggle. So you take this off, put it to the side. Okay, some kind of little uh, box right here, document thing. Inside here, I actually don't know what's inside. Let me see here. Okay. Duh, it is the USB Type-C charger, which you're gonna use in order to charge the phone. There's also another way to charge the phone, which I will also talk about a little bit later, okay? So basically no frills, and then here you go. The moment of truth. I get very excited when I take off the, the plastic, so here we go. So if you can't read, that's basically the Samsung logo right there, and then let's see here what happens when you pop it open. Okay, so. Here we go. So my initial thoughts of it when I first opened it is it looks very clean, it's very simplistic, and yet also very luxurious and high brand, okay? So this is basically the charging station you're gonna use to charge it. And then these are the earbuds itself, okay? So I had just mentioned before, you can use a USB Type-C charger to charge it. I would say it charges in a relatively fast manner. If the earbuds are dead, as well as the charging station itself, it'll probably take about like uh, an hour or two, maybe to fully charge it using the included charger right here, or sometimes I'll just use my computer's USB Type-C charger to charge it. Or, fun fact, you can also do this. If you have a wireless charger, and as you can see, I have a Marvel theme one right here. And then I have a One Punch Man taking down everybody. Iron Man, Superman, Batman, etc. So I think I thought it was pretty badass. So here we go. So, okay. You put it right here. And then if you put it right here, let's see if this works. Right on top, you find the, the charging area, right? You see the little indicator down there. That will also charge the earbuds as well. So it's pretty interesting. This is the first time I've had earbuds like this that can charge with wireless charging. So I think it's definitely pretty neat, definitely high tech, very cool, right? Luckily, your boy has a Samsung related product. So obviously this will work with any phone, as long as it's Bluetooth wireless compatible, which I think is like most mainstream phones nowadays. But because I have a Samsung one, it basically syncs those very easily. Like when I take them out and put in my ear, it syncs up automatically. It also works on my, uh, other phones. I also have a Pixel 6 Pro. That's the same thing. And then basically what happens, if you can see it, is once you do it, it kind of downloads this thing and then you can use it to go into, you know, touch controls. And then you can also kind of tweak it how you want. Maybe you want more bass, you want less bass, you want to make it softer or louder. So there's a lot to play around with right here. And then it's, it's kind of interesting. I never use this to be quite honest, but it is kind of uh, interesting, I would say. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what the fit is like and how it looks like in the ear, okay? So it's very simple. You open it up and then you pop them open. And I would say the fit is pretty seamless. Looks pretty nice. It has a good feel. The thing I like about these is they kind of stay in the ear pretty well. And they're not gonna fall out for the most part unless you're doing like some kind of heavy duty exercise or running. But 
Like, I, I like it because I think the issue that most companies have figured out, especially with the newer ones, is I remember when I first started rocking Bluetooth headphones and a lot of them, the ones like these, they would just fall out of your ear and it was very annoying, like you'd have to brace. Or if it's like the Apple earbuds, they kind of dangle, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I appreciate these, these are, like, they stay in pretty nice. So they are IPX2. So what does that mean? It basically, doing my diligent research, it means it is splash proof. So I would not run with these in the rain or you know listen to these while you're in the shower because that would probably mess them up. But I, I think for most occasions, they're pretty good. And, but obviously if they get wet or if you get a lot of sweat on them, just wipe it off immediately. For me, I just rock them when I'm at the gym or on my commute or just walking about and they're really good. So like I said before, I didn't measure exactly, but with my overall use, I would say it probably lasts about maybe three to four hours before you need to recharge them. So with the charging station, I think this could top off from zero to 100% maybe three or four times and before this will also get sucked out from juice. So if you put it for like maybe like, you know, you put it in there for like five to 10 minutes, it's gonna give you enough juice to last for a while. So I think it's pretty good. As soon as you put in the earbuds, there's kind of this sense of noise cancellation because these are noise canceling earbuds. And I say it's, it's pretty good. It kind of allows you to I don't wanna say ignore what's going on around you, but kind of limit what's going on around you and kind of and put you in your own world. Obviously, you can still hear what's going on. So, I see that they're selling them for about $149 at the Samsung website, but obviously I just did a quick dive if you go on eBay. They're selling them at a significantly cheaper price, so I definitely would check them out or maybe Amazon or other sites. Because basically when you buy from the original manufacturer or the original store, you're definitely gonna pay a premium price and they don't really discount too much. In comparison to the third party store, which will drop off in price immediately after it launches. And so definitely look at the aforementioned places for a good deal. And basically I don't wanna make this video too long. So I would say the fit is good. It provides good music, not too bassy. The highs are pretty good, the lows are pretty good. And like I said before, it does offer like a little bit of noise canceling. Now, I've never used the Galaxy Earbuds Pro or the, the Apple Earbuds. So I, I cannot compare it with those. I assume those are kind of in the same tax bracket or maybe even better, I don't know. But I would say for me, I'm a type of guy I usually don't like to spend more than like 1,500 NT, which is about 50 bucks US, because A, I'm always worried like I'll lose one of my earbuds, or B, they just break, or I just lose both of them, you never know, right? So they get the two thumbs up gold standard. So definitely go and buy them. So I think that's it for this video today. Please comment, like, subscribe down below. I know I keep saying it, I'm like a internet scammer or Nigerian scammer. I just keep asking you guys to do that, but it really does help out and my channel is growing. Not like a high pollutant tech stock or crypto. I mean, well not, not recently because crypto kind of fell a little bit, right? So I do appreciate all the feedback, the likes, the occasional comments I get, and I'm gonna try to create good content for you. So until the next video, peace.